Yeah, hello everyone, eh? Welcome back to the walkthrough! What's the icon doing over there? I mean, my cursor doing way over there. I was on here! 5 8 Raphael the Raven's Castle! Yeah! Yeah! It's gonna be epic! This is one of my favorite boss fights in the game, because it's so ridiculous! But anyway, let's collect the coins as we usually do, along with these uh, platforms. See, look, I gotta watch out for those dealios. Uh, anything? No, I didn't think so. So we're going up! Ooh, you can use these to jump really high if you want to. It's spectacular! <laughs> uh, I think that one's just gonna keep popping and hitting the, uh, the stairs, right? Uh, yeah, okay, so I can actually refill on eggs here if I really wanted to, but I've got a pretty good amount of eggs going on here, and there really isn't all that much in terms of collectibles in that particular area, so... Uh, ooh, let's check the Shy Guy pipe. I haven't seen one of those in a while. <laughs> um, eh. Aha! <laughs> I baited him out! Uh, in this one, you want to do it like this. Yeah, like a pro. See that angle of the platform there? Yeah. just It kind of keeps you just far enough away from that guy that you can't tongue him. <laughs> so, that's why I do the egg method there. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, good. <laughs> I hope I'm not wasting my watermelon. Uh, uh, nothing important there. I just seen a thorn and I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe it actually contains something. Or maybe I have to touch it. I doubt it though, because usually. Oh, this one, this one makes bouncies. They bounce off the. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they, um. Usually when you destroy one of the, those blue things, you don't have to touch whatever those blue things are hiding. It's just that. Just <laughs> your face. It's just that they have a, um. Uh, Eee! They have a thing where that they automatically appear and oh, come on, I want to just go up there using the power of the bill. Oh, what? I was directly on top of it. How dare you tell me that I was not directly on top of it? I'll get that baby in a second. Just don't worry. <laughs> Every, everything will be okay. I'm just more concerned about 100% than the baby. No, no problem. <laughs> um, I think I want to go up the left shaft, but I don't really recall what's up the right shaft. It seems like, I, okay, that's just red. Oh, definitely. I was gonna say it's red coins and a flower, but I gotta get one of those, yeah, the bullet builds the fire, uh, something like that. <laughs> That'll do, oh, hey, hey, what happened to my hover jump? What happened, there we go, I didn't know it worked before, I was holding the button, you know how I know how to do that, you see me do it very skillfully in the last level. <laughs> uh, you can use this to freeze the cannons, obviously, but is it really that necessary when you can do that instead? I don't know. And if you could use... Ah! Oh, I was going to say, if you use a bullet and carry it along through there. See, that's why I didn't want to freeze the cannons. I'm going to take this along here, as this makes things a whole lot easier. And boop, like that. And then you go up here and you're able to collect the spoils up here, thusly. Uh, okay, and by the way, you don't have, that's not like a memorization thing or anything like that, because as you can see, you can always go back to that can, and there's that, that whole trench down there hinting that said Bullet Bill will be coming through, said there, if you keep it on screen and don't despawn it or anything like that. Uh, can I freeze these things? I've never tried that before, I guess not. <laughs> it's the arrow lifts! You don't tell anyone, but you can grab arrow lifts to use them elsewhere! I just did that. <laughs> hey, egg block! I missed you, egg block. I'm full on eggs, so... Uh, I'm gonna do one of these dealios, but... See, the issue with this is I gotta get them... I can't let my egg despawn, and that's, that's why I stayed up there. Uh, I'm just gonna... Whoop! I was not paying attention to the cannonball whatsoever. Um, yeah, I just wanna clear out this stuff. It's not like it's important to clear this out before you use the arrow lift, but... But it sure makes things easier for your above trip here. <laughs> See what I mean? Uh, what, did I just get a one up from a balloon or something like that? It sure looked like it. <laughs> uh, I'll just bring a couple more of these, I suppose. Uh, go back down. That'll be respawned magically because it came out of its vision. I should say out of its spawning area type place. So there we go. And we're off. <laughs> Let's just 
break the last two here. Okay. I don't really feel like going back for more eggs, do you? I don't. And they aren't useful against the boss either, by the way. Just auto they just automatically put me right on the arrow lift. Ooh, Goonies. Oh! You. Son. Of. A baby knocker. <laughs> Knocking the babies out of my possession. Okay. Uh, any of- Ooh, there is important stuff there. That could be... Dicey. Eh. I cannot eat. Raphael the Raven, alas. But I can uh, egg him. <laughs> I'm, yeah, that, that you might find useful. But all I want to do is go right in between them, and there we go. I think we are doing good spoil-wise. Uh, oh, it's that weird 3D effect platform that... Yeah, it doesn't really work perspective-wise. Because the side should be getting a little bit smaller there. <laughs> And I'm gonna do my running jump here, and do- Oh! Um, well, I, I mean, I knew the secret is here, but I don't want to go... Uh... Like, can I go back? I think I can go back after I go through this door, if I recall correctly, but... I don't know about those other two red coins up there. Oh god, train! Why? <laughs> and I think those are red coins, too, at the end of that particular path. Um, uh, well, let's, let's go ahead. <laughs> the chain could take me a while, but it must be done. <laughs> yeah, you can even go through the platforms via the power of the train, as long as there's a track next to it. And I'm gonna just take this route first before I try the other route. I think one route leads to the flower, the other one leads to, yeah, the coins. Oh, those weren't red coins. Interesting. Okie dokie. So now I'm gonna go this way instead. And. Oh no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. It's gonna waste more time if I don't make it. Ah! Da! <laughs> ah! I told you it was gonna waste more time if I didn't make it. <laughs> and we're off again. <laughs> Hold that B button. Chug those steamy pipes. And go! <laughs> oh, I was holding up, but I went right through it. But I think it's because I didn't land at the spot where it actually uh, is affected by the train track type area. Now this what it'll do is it'll make you fall onto the flower from way high up. It also gives you red coins too, I guess, but basically, see this? It's gonna end here and you're gonna fall automatically straight down onto said flower. And that was the last one too. Oh, oh, oh. I'm out. I, I, I can't do any more here. <laughs> uh, how's my progress here? One red coin, so it's gotta be on said platforms. You know, the ones that I kind of... Yeah, these over here. Yeah, there we go! <laughs> I don't even have to use that other platform. Um, before I hit that, just to keep things nice and organized. Do I, did I get any 10s? I don't remember getting any 10s, so... Yeah, just for the sake of keeping things nice and set up there, I'm gonna hit that after get, after using that, because I'm gonna have to do that anyway, I believe. And yeah, it'll just, it'll just make climbing this a little bit smoother here. And I did a little ground pound there to offset the timing of how quickly I would fall. I don't really know if it helped that much, though. <laughs> uh, okay, I just do not want to take a hit now that I got myself all set up. Including from the powers of the bowling goonie there. Having a ah! Great. Well well, I hope I get another midpoint. That would be that would be peachy keen. <laughs> um, I wonder if there's any hidden stuff like in the corners and stuff like that. There probably is, but and these guys look look so silly just hopping down the stairs. Oh, there's some stars. That that's as good as a midpoint at this point, I suppose. Because uh, I already got the midpoint at full health down there. I should say full timer down there. There's no real health bar in this game other than that. And yeah, it looks like we are ready to go. Prepare. Prepare. Here comes. Oh, man. Ah, you can. Ah, well. I'll never enter the Koopa Kingdom. I banish you to forever twinkle in the heavens. Be gone! <laughs> <laughs> you 
And this is what I mean about this boss being incredibly silly, incredibly awesome. You lose your eggs, but you don't need eggs for this. <laughs> We're in a planet in outer space, Super Mario Galaxy style, way back in the time this game is released though. So this predated Super Mario Galaxy, and the objective is to pound the post so that the post comes out on the other end and boops the raven. Oh, he's not standing in a spot that would help me actually boop him with a post. <laughs> it's just, it's so dizzying. But it's so awesome at the same time. Oh, this looks good. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I, I missed my opportunity. It can also do shockwaves on the ground. Uh, but they are pretty easy to uh, dodge just by hovering in the air thusly. Ah, uh, oh, poopers! Poopers! Scoopers! Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. Oh, yeah, baby! Take that. And he's getting angry. Oh, if you can bounce on his head, too, without actually taking any damage, if I recall correctly. Uh, so don't worry about that too much. Yeah, you just, you just kinda, just kinda, eh, I don't like that, and I'm coming for ya! <gasps> yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, one more. I know you should start doing that shockwave thing. I wanna, sh I wanna show the shockwave at least once. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda let him do his thing as much as he wants to do it. He's just gonna get it. There it goes! <laughs> you see, it, it spiral, I mean, it moves out from where he stood from. <laughs> Take that, you monstrosity of anger! <laughs> okay, just one more hit here, and then we can call this boss complete. <laughs> it's probably easiest just to stay, stand in one place like I'm doing right now and just waiting for him to stop in a spot that- Ah! Oh, that stop in a spot that he'll actually take damage from your pounding. Oh, I just barely missed it! That is just depressing. <laughs> well, you know, but you've always got to keep moving in s to some extent, because when you pound the post, you got to move to the next location where the post popped out from, because obviously the post is, uh, it's not really gonna come back to you on the side that you're, you're standing at, so... <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Gotta just time this a little better. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Victory to Yoshi! And a new constellation appears in the sky. And that's how constellations are formed, kids. When you are asked that in your test papers, say, yes, Yoshi kills the ravens. The ravens fly up in space, and they turn into constellations. The same with all other enemies and stuff like that. It's true. It's true! You've seen it on camera, folks. You've seen it. On camera. <laughs> now, extra five. Oh boy. This stage... I, I, I think is a good time for me to teach you a little... Uh, like unlimited extra life trick, so <laughs> so that you aren't uh, seeing the game over screen a lot. So after this little cutscene of Yoshi climbing up the mountains to the highest point of Yoshi's Island and blowing up the fortress, I will show you something else. Oh, and we also get a transform. Oh, not transformation. More like a teleportation of some sort to a uh, much darker land and this is where the game sixth world takes place we're not playing that just yet we're going back over to world one so i can show you that life trick go to everyone's favorite level touch fuzzy uh, get dizzy and use up some of your eggs so that you can kind of get the set up here oh i don't have any eggs well we're gonna have to deal then we are gonna have to deal then <laughs> So now we're looking for a certain Shy Guy pipe type thing here. We're gonna grab one of our pill bug friends and uh, we're gonna go over to said Shy Guy pipe. There's a little. Uh, wait, maybe that's not the one that I'm thinking of. Wait a second. Uh, wait, no, 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 that's. Uh, yeah, because that's not going to. Uh, oh, there we go, there we go, I was correct, that, uh, that was the one. <laughs> and if you would like to, you could, you could just put down your controller now and uh, just, just have a good time watching this take place as our bald friend there just continually pops shy guys as they pop out 
of said pipe there in an infinite circle for all of eternity. And that's how you can get yourself up 999 lives for a while. I mean, it, it takes a while, as you see, because you just got to keep waiting for that cycle to happen, you know, him turning into a ball, and then when the, the ball form pops a shy guy, but he stays in place like that, because they don't, they don't like walk around or anything like that, you just gotta have it be around that area, and then shy guys will walk into it, and when I, when I leave the ball in such a position, it kinda, kinda makes it rather easy for shy guys just to keep popping into it. Come to think of it, I think I could throw the ball into that little corner there as well, you know, where that other shy guy is not being killed? and then just continually get extra lives out of that as well. But, uh, you know what? This is working. <laughs> oh, but of course, if I put the ball on the other side, I would have to stand on the other side of the pipe as well, because the Shy Guys always pop out of the pipes in, towards the direction that you're standing at. So what I'd have to do is stand up on top of that ledge and then just wait it out. <laughs> so with that... I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, as well as the unlimited life trick here, and I will see you in the next part, when I have accumulated a bunch of lives that I'll probably end up burning at the roulette. Heck yeah! <laughs>